Hey there, and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the first, yep, the very first, first vending machine that Jazzwares released for this four inch action figure line and it is none other than the fallen love ranger now let's take a real quick peek here at the packaging and see what the difference is they used to release the llamas i don't know if they'll release the llamas again in the future but this is taking the place of the llamas and they're even cheaper like i think five dollars cheaper than the llamas were so one of the big things to note right off the bat is with the vending machine, they have an image and the name of the character right smack dab on the front. With the llamas, you didn't know what was in that package unless you looked on the little uh, card. I have one sitting around here somewhere. But that's a really big change. Another big change is on the back of the box. We'll flip that around. And you can see, well, hopefully you can see what the big change is. And that is... It lists everything in there. Not Actually, not just lists, but it shows by a picture all the different items in there, which is really cool because if you're someone who's not familiar with Fortnite and you're just going along and you see this pinata and you see a list, okay, that's all cool. But then you see this and you're like, oh, get this figure. We get these backpacks. We get these guns. Oh, that's cool. You know, it might sell better. I hear the llamas are actually selling pretty well. But these might sell better. This may be a really cool change that we're going to see going forward, at least for maybe the next year or so. All right, well, that's the packaging and what, what's different about it. It's really pretty cool. I like the design. I like the look of it. Uh, we're going to get this thing open. Uh, before I actually open it, I'm going to make one more little note. I've heard and I've seen a few people having trouble open it it's designed to be opened here see it says pull here it's designed to be opened from the front but i've heard people have had problems with the sticker inside ripping or that paper ripping and then the sticker ripping i'm going to open this one a little bit different instead on the bottom i'm going to pop this plastic open and there's a way we can just open the bottom i'm going to see how that works and uh i'll be right back and we're gonna get this thing open I decided to change my tactic just a little bit for opening the vending machine. I had mentioned I was going to open it from the bottom, but upon uh, closer inspection, decided that the top would actually be the better place. So I'm going to just go ahead and start cutting open this uh, plastic cellophane stuff here. And I decided I'm going to open this one on camera because this will be the first vending machine that I have opened. So I'm just going to do a quick little number like that that should allow for me to pull this open like so and then you'll get to see the inside so we'll dump the in innards out and notice one of the big differences in the vending machine from the llama is there's no confetti well sort of look right in here the confetti is actually in a breakaway pouch right there so when you open well you can't see it let me adjust my camera up when you pull this open like so then the confetti is going to pop out of here and it's not that i don't want confetti everywhere i actually really like these confetti related items i think they're a lot of fun and they're just they're just neat uh, but i chose at this point to not <laughs> not do that and if you see in here we're going to lower the camera again this is kind of a a motion video bear with me but uh, you can see right here there is this heart shape Maybe I'll use my knife, like right there, and we'll get this focus in. But right here, you'll see this heart shape. This is the sticker, and this is actually right here what it looks like right there. This spray sticker included. So that's really cool, because you could take this. This is like a spray from in the game. You could take the sticker and put it elsewhere. Now, one problem I've heard about the sticker, and we might, I don't know if I'm going to investigate it at the end, but one thing I've heard is that the sticker is actually stickied on to this material, and it won't come off. It's like, it's like stickered on. And so 
I don't know if I'll investigate that or not. But for now, let's get to the main part, the heart of this video, and get that stuff right here opened up and taken a look at. I have it all separated out now. Figure, weapons, uh, building materials with the spray and the back bling. And then, of course, this thing right here, the building tips and tricks guide that comes in just about everything we see. So we'll just take a peek at that. There you go. And, yep, yeah, that's that. So let's begin by looking at the building material. Then we'll move on to weapons, back blings, and then the figure. We have the Do It Spray, and it is on metal building material. We can just pop it together here real fast. And then we're going to just do it. I'm going to hook it together just like that. Then you can see that's what it looks like. Pretty shiny, pretty snazzy, pretty cool. And as for weapons, we have a crossbow, a thermal scoped assault rifle, a heavy sniper rifle, a suppressed submachine gun, a clinger, a submachine gun, an infantry rifle, an assault rifle, and we'll flip this around. Down here, there's actually a little cool thing. It's a skull and crossbones in a white splatter. I don't remember if this is an official wrap or not, but it's there. And the last weapon is a light machine gun. Cool stuff. The first back bling we'll look at is the Primal Danger back bling. This belongs to Bone Wasp. Next we have the Lightning Cloak, and this belongs to Tempest. Then we have the Master Portal, and this belongs to Master Key. Finally, we have the Pool Party back bling, and there are no current figures out that this belongs to. It's part of the Lifeguard set, so uh, maybe we'll be getting one of the Lifeguards soon. Now we come to the main event of this package, and that is the Fallen Love Ranger action figure. And I think he looks really pretty good. Uh, pants are not the correct color, but I've, from what I understand, that's a running change, and that we will be getting darker purple pants uh, in at some point in the future so a future vending machine will have the correct color of pants from what i have been told so that's kind of cool so you know this will be uh, a future variant you now and i like variants variants are cool anyway let's take a peek at his articulation his head will rotate all the way around and his neck will look up and look down his arms will rotate all the way around or at least the shoulders will and he can take his arms up that high his elbows rotate all the way around and bend not quite to 45 or 90 degrees his wrists will rotate around and they have a horizontal hinge there the torso wiggles and moves around and the waist can rotate all the way around he can move his legs pretty much anywhere he wants or needs to be and his thighs have a nice rotation there He's got the standard double pin knee joint. And finally, the ankles rotate and hinge back and forth. So we got the, you know, we got a standard, standard articulation based off of all the other figures in the Jazzwares Fortnite line. So he holds up, he stands up. He's really, well, you could see, yeah, he stands up. Well, he did. <laughs> he did until I said that. <laughs> it's kind of a joke that I didn't mean to make. There, see, he stands up. Now, we actually received his back bling in another former previous llama. And that is right here, the Fallen Wings. I think these are the Fallen Wings. I kind of keep referring to them uh, sometimes as the Fallen Love Wings, but I think these are just the Fallen Wings. There's a peg, there's a hole on his back, and they go on there just dandy and just so. Just like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, we'll set him off to the side. We're going to take a look at some of these back bling. All right. So we got three figures here. We got three back bling. We have Tempest, Master Key, and Bone Wasp. These are all solo mode figures, so they come individually wrapped and packaged on their own. But their back blings are here. So we've got this Primal Danger, and we'll pop it on to Bone Wasp here. Just like that. I don't have this in the game. I'm assuming this is the direction it goes. 
So there's Bone Wasp. I'll set them that way. And Master Key. Now I'm going to admit I don't know which direction this thing goes. So I will do this. You can tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Now real quick, actually, that's translucent right here. That's a... Oh, you can't really see it. I'd have to shine a light through it. But you can see my finger through it. It's a translucent piece of plastic. So that's cool. And then we'll put him here. Then finally which is kind of funny we have the tempest cape or tempest lightning cloak and you know with all the translucent pieces that's on tempest i'm kind of surprised that this isn't on a little bit translucent but we'll slide this on his back and we've got his back bling now just like that so there they are the three solo modes with their back bling all right well, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching. If you found this informative or helpful, please give me a thumbs up, like this video. And if you want to subscribe and be notified of future videos just like this in the realm of G.I. Joe, Fortnite, and Halo, then subscribe and hit that bell notification icon and you'll be notified of all future videos. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.